So, uh, so you all play game, you know, you watch movies, YouTube. I have two of my kids here. They're always on these devices, but right now it's fine. He's recording me. <laughs> so um, today's presentation is about what else can we do uh, with our devices, right? We are always hooked up uh, with our devices, whether it is the dinner table, or you know, we are watching somebody's presentation like mine. Somebody are still looking at the devices. <laughs> so we are going to talk about how we can use these devices to do something beyond consumption, and that is creation. Okay, so we'll, we'll learn about how we can create uh, you know different things, including art as well as animation, and a bunch of other items. So uh, if you don't have any device, right? I have uh, paper and uh, sketch. Uh, uh, pens, so you can use that if you want. Or if you want to work with me, you all can download a couple of apps. So uh, they are, these are free apps. So first app is called Sketchbook. Okay, uh, It's available on both. It's available on uh, Android as well as iPhone. So I'll show you the icon of this app, and we can go to the App Store. So if you go to the App Store, uh, search for Sketchbook. And it's going to look like the icon over there on the top, this one. So this is a free app, and uh, you can just download it on your phone or your iPad or anything. And while you're downloading it, there's other app um, that you can download. It's called Flip a Clip. The first one over there, you see that? You can download this one. It's a free app. So these two apps are pretty amazing. Um, we can start from this. And I'll also talk about some of the paid apps, right? So any of you have heard about Procreate? Yay, okay. So Procreate is very powerful, and uh, you know I'll show you some things on Procreate. But let's first get started about <laughs> you know, creating something. So one thing which I, I like is uh, you know, people think that they can't create, right? They can't draw, they can't paint. But everybody has an artist in them, right? So we'll try to learn some really basic things, right? You can use any app you like. If you have Procreate, you can use Procreate. If you have, you want to use Sketchbook, you can use Sketchbook, right? So right now, um, we'll use Sketchbook, or we can use paper and pen. So if you don't have any device and you, you just want to use paper and pen, please raise hand if you need paper and pen. All right. Come on in, we're just getting started. Yes. Sketchbook. Yeah, sketchbook. So um, let's me let me go back to the app store here. Sketchbook. This is the app. This is a free app, free in Android, free in iPhone. Okay. Who else need? Uh, oh, there. Few people needs paper and pen. So. Anybody here needs paper and pen? Okay. There are a couple of people here. 
while everybody is setting up, uh, let me show you. Uh, see. So let's see some of the things you can do on your iPad. So this painting, <laughs> this is a work from me. Uh, it has been done in an app called ArtRage, right? So what you will notice here is uh, a lot of uh, kind of a, a painterly effect, like an acrylic or oil paint, right? So <laughs> this work has been exhibited in many galleries. So I think the colors are not vibrant here, so I'm going to show you how it looks on the iPad. So this is how it looks on the iPad. Right? Oh. Yeah. So yeah, the brightness might be, but so you can create work like this, right? And you can print them either on a canvas or you can print them on metal, right? This is not a uh, uh, work which I would print on a metal, but a uh, work like, let me show you another one, which is this one over here. So this is the one I did in Procreate. You guys know this guy, right? Okay. <laughs> so this is the work which I would print on, on, on a metal, right? So metal prints are pretty amazing. They will pop your digital artwork out, right? So now everybody has a paper and pen. Or a, or a device with an app. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So when you open this app, <coughs> oops, sometimes this app gets crashed, right? So on the very top, so the people who have mobile devices, their, your UI would be a little bit different, right? So in your interface, let's take this out. Do I need the mic or you guys can hear me? No worries, no worries, I'll, I'll figure it out. So, um, so everyone has got the app and you guys, uh, the people on the phone, your user interface will look a little bit different, right? So on the top, you will see there's a, uh, there's an icon like, oh, the top is missing there. Huh? So there is a icon which has a few lines in it, right? So you tap on that and it's going to say new sketch. Can everyone see that, new sketch? Everybody? So click on new sketch, and then click on create, okay? So you should be able to see this blank canvas. Everybody can see the blank canvas? Okay, excellent. Now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to use a pen, okay? So if your canvas is filling the whole screen, you can use two fingers to make it smaller so that you can see there's a bottom button bottom cir circle at the bottom. You see this tiny little circle? If you tap on it, you see it shows up several icons, okay? So redo and undo are on the left and right side. You see those arrows? Remember that. Now, we are going to use the pen. This pen here. And the people on the Android phone, your pen would be uh, somewhere on the top, okay? So use the, this pen, which is like a fountain pen, and then try to draw something like this. Okay? Everyone can make some strokes? Okay? And people in, uh, using the pen and paper, you can just hold on. You don't need to try strokes, okay? <laughs> it works. 
Now, let's undo first, okay? So you, to undo, you tap on this bottom little circle here at the bottom, and then you see there are two arrows. One is on the left, and one is on the right, right? So undo, undo, and then, then one over here is on the redo, redo, okay? These are the two little circles, okay? Now, uh, the people on the paper will start uh, with drawing something, and everybody else uh, on the devices, we're gonna start drawing something. So there's some easy ways to make cartoons, okay? Or characters, or whatever you like, if you wanna make comic characters, right? So the way I do it is, <laughs> remember this number, number 66, okay? And most of your character will start with this number. So at the center of your canvas, let's draw a number 66 like this. Everybody, at the center, okay? Not too big, not too small, right at the center. Now we are going to, next, we are going to draw letter C, okay? But letter, we are gonna squish it, okay? So how, first watch. So I'm gonna draw letter C right at the bottom of this number 66 like this, let us see. Okay, everybody? Now, you guys shop from Amazon? Everybody here? You know the Amazon sign, the sign? Correct, so let's draw the Amazon sign like this, right over here. All right, we have made three strokes, okay? Everybody is with me so far? Cool. Now, two simple strokes, okay? One like this and one like this. All right, and now, Let's give this guy some hair. And now you can zoom in with two fingers. With your two fingers, right? Zoom in with two fingers, and then you guys can give him some eyeballs like this. Okay? You guys go to your first character? Everybody? Right, pretty easy, right? <laughs> and if, if you make a mistake, you can always tap on this little circle here and then do undo, right? And redo on this side. So can everybody show me your character on your phone, on your devices? Nice, good job guys. Excellent, amazing, very cool. Now, people on the uh, paper and pen, you can just flip the page, okay, or maybe divide the page because we'll do a couple of more of these, okay? People on the devices, right? You need to first learn how to save this, right? So the way to save it is you go again on the menu on the top. You see this one? The menu on top, it shows the new sketch. Now click on gallery. Okay, click on gallery. So you tap on gallery, and then click on save to gallery. Okay, save to gallery. So what you will see, this is going to be saved in your photo gallery. Okay, from here you can email, upload, whatever, right? But it should be on your gallery. Okay, so everybody got this on their gallery? Excellent. So from within the gallery, there is a plus sign at the bottom, okay? So click on the plus sign, go to new sketch, okay? Right, and then create, okay? So now, let's use the same technique, okay? Let's use the same technique. So number 66, okay? What comes next? Which letter? Letter C, yes sir. 
What comes next? Amazon, Amazon all right. Okay. And the same thing, right? Two simple stroke, one like this, one like this. But now, here's a twist, okay? Let's not make the hair like we had last time. Let's try to go curly this time. And now, let's focus on the eye, okay? Here, let's make the eyeballs just like what we did last time, okay? But let's add a couple of eyelets. Okay? Go back. And now let's give this lady an earring. Who we have now? A beautiful young lady. Right? <laughs> Super easy. Same concept, same everything. So this part remains the same. You see that? Correct? So I'm gonna undo this here. Now again, go to your gallery and let's save this guy into your, uh, lady, sorry, in the gallery. Everyone with me so far? Most of you? All right, excellent. Now click on plus sign and let's do one last one, okay? One last. Here, we are going to do the same thing, but now we'll try to change the emotion of a person, okay? What is the most expressive part of your face? Eyes, somebody said eyes, right? So even if you have mask, right, on, we can tell if the person is sad or happy, right? So eyes are very uh, important in your facial expression, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you So let me make the eyes a little bit bigger here. Oh, it is like this. There you go. Thank you. And let's do the same thing. Okay. about something, right? You might be thinking about going to Perth. Right? So thinking. So this, everything is same in this character except the eyeball. Right? Super easy, right? Now, if I change the eyeballs, let's, if I do go undo, undo, and make the eyeballs on the side, sneaking, right? So this is how you change the expression, right? Now, let's do a couple of undos. And I am going to use the eraser, okay? Eraser. Eraser is right, where is the eraser? Here, okay? Eraser is right here, couple of brushes down. And I'm going to erase this so if you want to change the size, by the way, of anything, you just tap on the brush and hold it, okay? So if you want to change the size, you ch tap on the brush and hold it and you can change the size like this, okay? The same with the eraser. So I'm gonna change the size and I'm going to erase just the Amazon smiley, okay? All right, go back to the brush. Now what we are going to do here is again we are going to use the eye for a new expression, right? We do this, okay? Let 
guys. Sad, you know, missing somebody, you know. So just with the eyes, right, you can change so many things. Okay? You guys learned something? Right? Cool. And then you can keep using the same uh, way to design, and you can do many characters, right? So if you maybe change the eyes into specs, right? You can make glasses, right? You can make a nerd, right? So it's super easy, right? <laughs> so now let's try some something uh, easy for, for little kids. I think most of you are bigger kids. Right? But like how I draw pets, right? If you want to draw a pet, it's super easy. It's some uh, s uh, easy techniques which I use. So I start with the letter W, watch here, and we'll keep it uh, short like this, okay? Then you'll draw a letter B on top of this, like this. But the B is kind of lying down, okay? And now, let's give some eyes here. Now just with the outer periphery of this, we can make different characters from this, okay? So if I do this, what do I get? A cat, yeah, I get a cat. And if I undo here, and I use, go back to the same, And let's do something like this. What do I get? A dog. Exactly. Same thing, right? Same expression, right? Now if I go back, undo, undo. And let's do this. What do I get? A lion. a lion. There you go, guys, right? Super easy, right? Super easy. So these small techniques will let you draw characters faster, right? So you can you can make your know, graphics novel or whatever, right? <coughs> okay. So how are we doing on the time? 8:55. Okay, excellent. Right. So we are doing pretty good on time. Now, this is all about, you know, smaller things, you know, Things you can just take out from your uh, devices, you can take out from your pocket and start working on it, right? But if you want to go a level up, right? If you want to go level up, then you might have to learn a little bit more about digital art, okay? So this is kind of regular art, right? Everybody can do this, right? You know. But what is digital art? There's one thing in digital art which makes it different and very powerful. And can someone tell me what that one thing is? Yes, dear. What's that? Could be shared. Excellent. That's a very good point, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So layers. Layers is one of the most powerful thing in digital art, right? Okay, who knows what layers are? Okay, I'm going. Everybody knows it. <laughs> but layers are very powerful. It's just that how we use the layers it's something you need to learn, right? So let's take an example. So I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to go to my favorite app, which is Procreate, okay? So I love Procreate, by the way. You know, I'm so much deeply in love with this app. Like this guy, you know. Uh, so I, I created this when, like 10 years back. I was in San Francisco at Macworld. And they loved it so much, they kind of uh, uh, showed this on the big screen over there, right? Right at the, the exhibition hall. And I felt so proud of it. And you look at the details of this, right? The, the eyes has a reflection, right? This is a reflection of the building, which are here in front. And each of these, uh, you see the, the texture on the hands, is a brush. It's not like I manually did these, right? So it's a very powerful app, right? Uh, we are going to use this app 
I, I know you, most of you don't have this app, but don't worry about it. It's like a $10 app, but it's worth $1,000, right? You guys know about Photoshop, right? Photoshop is almost $1,000, but now they have subscription model. But this is like one time, so if you can skip to Starbucks, you can buy this app, okay? <laughs> Very powerful. So let's uh, uh, learn about some really cool things about this, right? So I'm going to start um, from very simple. Just watch, okay? You don't have the app, don't bother yourself. Just watch, learn, okay? When we draw something or when we paint something, what do we start with first? The sketch, absolutely, right? So we start with a sketch. This is a sketch of a what is it? pear. This is a sketch of a pear, right? So once you do the sketch, the next thing, which I like to do, is add a new layer, okay? So what are layers? Think of layers as a sheet of glass, right? So if you're drawing something on a glass sheet, you put that sheet, then you draw something on another glass sheet, then you put on top, and you draw another, and you put on top. When you look from the top, you will see all the three drawings come together, correct? That is what layers are, right? So in this case, in this case, when I have this layer, I'm going to now start painting this layer. And then when I do paint this layer, I'm going to do something like this, right? Okay? So what I have done is I have given some nice shading. You can see there's a light coming from this side. And it's, uh, it's brightening the left part of the pair. And there's a shadow on the right hand side. So you spend too much time in making one pair. Let's say about half an hour, right? If you want to really perfect this. But now, let's say if you want to go for a still life painting, you can either draw a new pair, right? And do the same thing, right? Or we can take advantage of layers, right? So how we can take the advantage of layers is let's say what I'm going to do is I'm, go I'm going to duplicate this layer. Uh, the icon is not showing up over there, but it's showing up over here, right? Uh, if you guys can see here, right? So I'm going to duplicate this guy here. So now I have two layers, right? And what I can do is, oh, wait a second. Where does this green dot came from? Hold on. Let me erase this, right? Okay. Okay, where did that come from? So you duplicate this, and now you have a layer on top of this. So now I can select this. It's better to see here. I can select this. And I can make another pair. You see that? I can make a baby pair, or I can make a mama pair, right? So, or you can have a standing pair, you can have a pair which is lying like this, right? You can do anything with this layer. You're not redoing anything, you're just moving this around, right? Super cool, right? So if you are doing this, so let's say if I have already made this, so I'm gonna delete this one. I add one pair here. Now I duplicate this layer, right? And I add a third pair, like this. So now I have three pairs, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some shadow because my light is coming from there, so I'm going to add some shadow, right? Now I need to, uh, I'm going to give some background to this, okay? So I'm going to go to the background color, I'm going to make it really dark, like black, and finally, I'm going to give some texture to the background. There we go. Look at this painting now. Over here, on the screen, uh, on, on my iPad. You see this? It's so fast to make paintings like this, okay? So use layers. Layers is very, very powerful. You saw my Spider-Man painting, right? My Spider-Man painting? It has like 40 layers, so but it really helps me organize my work because I can start with, I can start with the sketch, right? Then I can go do individual components like eye, the skin, the building, the background, everything in different layers, right? And the beauty of layers is you can always change any component of that layer. So let's say if I want to change something here um, on this on this pair, let's say. So if I can go to um, If I can go to a layer and I can change the color, let's say, so if I take a, a second pair, like, and I take a color and drop it here, 
So I'm only changing the color of this green pair, uh, the, the, the second pair, right? And then let's say I want a different color for this pair. Let's say, so select the color, drop this, oops, I think I dropped it in the background. So you go to that layer, so the first one, so I'm gonna take this and then drop it here, right? How does that look? Now it's multi-colored pair, right? Super easy. Instead of you drawing a pair every other time, you can just use the same painting and repurpose it, right? Make it look different, right? You can change the background, something else, right? So I'm just telling you about the simple techniques which you can use just using layers, all right? Okay, how are we doing on the time? The session is only up to 9.20. Oh, it's 9.20, okay, cool. All right, so let's spend uh, maybe a couple more minutes here, uh, and then uh, we will switch on, switch our gears to animation, okay? So a uh, few other things uh, uh, about Procreate is you can import photographs, okay? So you can import photographs, and then you can do, you know, anything fun on top of your photographs, right? So that's another thing you can, you can think about it. Um, and then one other beautiful thing is text, okay? Text is amazing in Procreate. So let me see if I have an example for text which I can show you. E oh, by the way, in Procreate, you can also do animation. So remember that. I don't want to spend time creating a text, but uh, I just want to show something. I have a, where is it? Yeah, look at this. Over here, right? So you can use Procreate to create some amazing greetings for the holidays, right? And uh, this is all done using layers and, and clip bar, uh, uh, clip layer feature, right? So very, very powerful. It's a little bit more advanced, so we, I won't spend time showing you that features, but it's fun, it's fun, okay? All right, now let's switch gears and let's talk about animation. So everyone is with me so far? Who's sleeping? <laughs> well, when I go to a morning session, I will definitely sleep. So if you're sleeping, it's okay with me. <laughs> All right, so let's switch gears. Um, who has made animation before? Wonderful, amazing. Good to see that so many of you have made animation. So what we are going to do is, um, in animation, we use something called, what is it called? Frames, that is right. There's something called, it's related to, rela related to a vegetable. What's that? Yes, onion skinning, right? So onion skinning is something which is very common term used in animation, right? It's basically in every frame, you skin off something from it, right? Okay, so let's see an example. Everyone has downloaded the app Flip a Clip? Flip a Clip? Everybody? I mean, the people who are using phones, right? Okay, so let's open the app Flip a Clip. So the app was going to take you to a gallery, right? So there's a gallery here, right? But we'll start with a very basic animation. So everybody can see the plus sign here at the bottom. So the people on the mobile devices, you will have a different user interface, but you can still see the plus sign. Yeah, exactly, the red plus button, right? So press the plus sign, okay? And then give this name, maybe just say fur. In my case, it's like, second one first, okay, I'm gonna just, and then <coughs> pick a, pick a background. So you want, you want to pick a background, so to begin with, just pick a white background right now, and then click on create project, okay? So now, we have a blank canvas, and what we have at the bottom is 
frame. Okay. Everyone who has your devices uh, here with me so far, give me a thumbs up. Excellent, excellent. All right. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to make a very simple character, very very simple character, right? So this is the pen, right? So you, you see there's a pen here. Um, you can use the pen to draw something, let's say like this, okay? And then at the uh, on the top somewhere you will see there's an undo button at the top, right? Like left arrow, so you can undo and redo. So all you need in any app, you need to know what where is undo and redo, and that's one of the beauty about digital art is you can make as many mistakes as you want. Make as many mistakes, right? Because you can always undo your mistakes. So how about this? Let's make, let's make a smiley. Okay, let's start with that. So let's make a circle like this. Okay. And let's make big eyes. Color the eyes black. Okay, and let's make a smiley face like this. Everyone with me so far? The people who have the devices, right? Okay. Now, at the bottom, you will see there are, there's a frame which is showing the smiley, okay? At the bottom, correct? Now what we are going to do is we are going to tap and hold that frame, tap and hold, and you will see a few options showing up over there, right? The, the option next to the trash can is copy, okay? So I'm going to copy that, okay? So tap on copy, and then tap on paste, which is the icon on the very end, okay? On the very end. So you will see that there are two frames at the bottom now, both with the smile. Two frames at the bottom, both with a smiley. You guys able to copy paste? It's pretty easy, right? Copy paste, right? Yeah, press and hold, copy, and then the, 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 the one at the very end is the option is the paste, right? So the, the one next to the trash can, this one over here, this one is for copy, and this one is for paste. Okay? Copy and paste. So now you have two frames. So let's do this on frame number two. So this is frame number one, right? On frame number two, let's go there and then tap on the brush, uh, tap on the eraser. So where is the eraser? So you just basically find the eraser. So eraser is right just be, uh, below the brush. You just see just below the brush there's the eraser, right? So tap on the er eraser and what you do is erase the eyes, but not completely, okay? You, you use the eraser and then just erase some bottom part and some top part of the eye, okay? But not completely, okay? Can you guys do this? Second layer? Awesome. Now, You see there's a play button over there? Let's click on the play button. You just made your first animation. Congratulations, right? Super easy. Are you guys able to play this? The eyes, right? So it's just two frames, right? And the reason I'm telling you from the very simple animation is because this is how you start, right? You make different frames. The movies in Disney, right? They're like multiple frames. And in the past, like 20 years back, it was done manually by people drawing frame after frame. But now what happens? Who knows what happens now? The computer graphics does the rendering from one frame to another. So I gave computer th my hand like this as one frame and a hand like this as another frame. Computer can render from here to here without me doing all the frames, right? So it's amazing how technology has changed, right? Now you will see the eyes are flipping so fast, correct? The eyes are flipping so fast. And the reason for that, because the frame, we only have two frames, 
one with open eyes, one with closed eyes, right? So if we add more frames in between, we can control the speed, correct? So how do we do that? So go to the first frame with the open eye, press and hold, press and hold, and then click on this second option here, the copy, uh, the first copy, right? Right, and then in paste, right? Same thing, what you did. But now we are not changing anything on the frame. We keep that frame as it is, right? Now go to frame number three, copy and paste. We're not changing anything. All we did is we made two copies of the frame with open eye and two copies of the frame with closed eye. Okay, that's it. And now if I play, you can see much reasonable speed, right? That's how you will blink, correct? Right. Simple concept, okay? Very, very easy concepts on how to do animations. But now you will think that this is super easy, right? I mean, anyone can do this. So what are the different things you can do with iPad or on the phone, okay? So let's, let me show you, so this is the same app. One thing I'll show you uh, before we get off this app is how you have a character sitting in a, a setting, right? So there's a setting, if you can see here, if I can show you here, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a couch, right? So there's a setting here. You can have your character sitting in a setting like this, right? So all I change is the background, okay? And now if you play, you see that? Super easy, correct? So it's just two frames, that's it, right? But it just brings the character to life. You see at the bottom only two frames, that's it. And you can go even, Creative, right? So I took a picture of myself here. I'm presenting it first. And then a bee showed up. You can, you can be very creative. Right? I'll just always make these examples, right? My kids don't like this, but. <laughs> right? So, anyhow. So there are lots of amazing things you can do. These guys have shown an uh, uh, example which is more uh, kind of professional done. One, so look at this one right here. I could have seen a jump. This is done in flipper clip. Can you believe this? It's pretty amazing, right? I mean, how this can be done, right? So anybody, anyone sitting here could be an animator. You can think of animation as a career. You have to just start small, right? If you learn the concept, You'll, you'll nail it. The other app which I love for making animation is called Animation by Doing. Animation by Doing. Let me show you uh, on the App Store so that you can go and find this app. So you can search for Animation by, or you can just say Doing, D-O-I-N-G. Maybe it's just do just search for doing maybe you'll get it mm -hmm. because there's so many animation apps. Yep, this one, the one, uh, the second one over there, the animation drawing by doing. This is an amazing app, and I love this app. And one of the reason why I love this app is it does the rendering part for me. So Flipper Clip is a very manual app, right? So you make one frame, second frame, third frame, fourth frame, like hundred frames, right? But this one can help you do some rendering. And now you don't need to do this, but I'll show you what I mean by that, okay? Especially, it basically uh, lets me define a path for an object, right? So let's see if this app is working because I was having some issue in the past. Uh, one second, I have to just, so I have my own folder for animations. These are the bu bunch of different apps I use, right? These are the folder for all the art apps, right? But let's, let's see, let's, let me show you what, I'm, what I mean by this, right? So you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna quickly show you an example of what I mean by, uh, so I'm gonna create a new drawing. So let me just make a, a simple smiley like this. Okay, I'm going to change this color to black. Uh, make one eye, oops. I'm gonna make one eye like 
this and another eye like this. And then I'm going to like this, okay? And in the second frame, what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to I'm gonna copy paste this one. And I am going to just make the eyes disappear like this. Just the same thing which we did right last time, right? Now I play this. I have this blinking eye, right? Here you don't need to, here they have a setting where you can change the number of frames per second, right? So you can just re decrease this to like like four or five, so now your this thing is much reasonable. Now what makes this app different than Flippa Clip is it has something called composition, okay? So what is composition? So any character you make will be stored in your gallery, and now when you go here, click, and you go to composition, what composition lets you do it basically brings your character to life, right? So your animated character is still sitting there, just animating by itself, right? But when you say coming to life, means when the baby starts to walk, right? So that's what I mean, meant by that, right? So you click here, and then bring that character here, right? And now let me just uh, basically make this small. Now you see there's a green dot here at the center? This is very useful. So I can make this dot, and I can give a path to this guy, like this. And look at this. Voila. Baby comes to life, right? So it is very, very useful how you know we can give the this character life. And you can change the, the time it takes, right? So now it will go slow, because now I change the path from two seconds to five seconds, right? Right? What, what else can you do? You can do many other things. Like if the, if the, the character is right at the end of the path, you can make the character very small, right? So let's see if I make this very small like this, see what happens, right? So it appears this guy is going, bye, bye, buddy, right? It's just perspective, right? I didn't do anything, I just made the character small. Right? When the car comes and goes there, it goes smaller, right? Super easy thing, right? Amazing things you can do just by these simple apps. There's like $4, $5 apps, right? And I would say the kids have, like, you know, the t kids I teach, they have done amazing stuff. Like, like, what is this, right? So this is a simple example, right? We just, uh, during the Easter, we did this. So all you did is you take an image of an egg and put your character on top. As simple as that, right? So, uh, you know, in different settings, you can bring these, uh, you know, uh, characters to life. Uh, what we did is, uh, you know, like a car chase. So this one was a car chase, I believe. Uh, so you can have multiple characters, not just one character, right? So, uh, how are we doing on the time? We're doing good on the time? Okay, excellent. We are on, okay, excellent, all right. So, to conclude, uh, I just, uh, uh, so what I do is, if, uh, let me just show you one thing here, that where is our, where is, So my name is Sumit Vishwakarma, okay? And uh, I started this, oh, I okay, let me just bring this. Okay, so this is the site if you want to learn more. So Mobile Art Academy is uh, our website uh, where you can go learn various courses there. You don't need to go there and learn. You can just go to YouTube and learn. I'm completely fine. But uh, we have, uh, I think the internet's pretty weak here. But Mobile Art Academy, that's the name, right? Mobile art because we are creating art on the mobile, right? So Mobile Art and Academy because we teach, right? So we have courses on Procreate, Art Trades, Animation, so on, right? And if you just want uh, to get information about all the free apps and different things, on, at the very top of this, you see there's a blue bar. It says get the free guide. So you can just get the free guide, or you can just start with the free course, right? Uh, you know, so have fun, and uh, create something. If you like, share with me. My email address is Sumit, which is my name, S-U-M-I-T, at mobileartacademy.com. Okay, so Mobile Art Academy is, is my website. And uh, 
You know, I started this. This is not my full time. I, I work in Silicon Valley. I'm, you know, I'm making enough money to live there. But this is this was my passion, right? So, if you guys have a passion, never let it stop. That's the last thing, right? You can always do things in parallel. With that, I conclude this. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate this. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you.